Well, Fox 59 is your local election headquarters, and we're already looking ahead to yeah. 2024. <laughs> Senator Mike Braun of Indiana officially entering the race now for governor. Yeah, that'll leave Indiana with an open Senate seat in that same election. Fox 59's Kristen Escow joins us live in studio now to break down today's big news. Well, yeah, and a big political shakeup for sure here in Indiana. Governor Eric Holcomb is term limited, so that means Hoosiers will elect a new governor in 2024. And now you'll also vote for a new senator. Republican Senator Mike Braun jumping in the race for governor in 2024. He filed campaign finance paperwork Wednesday. His chief of staff confirmed the move, saying Braun plans to make an official announcement of his candidacy very soon. Earlier this month, we asked Braun whether he was leaning toward running for governor instead of another Senate bid. I've been pleased with what we've got accomplished. Um, I pledged I wouldn't do it more than two terms. Braun is a longtime businessman from Jasper who was elected to the Senate in 2018 following a competitive Republican primary. Prior to that, he served as a state representative. UND political science professor Laura Wilson says Braun has some advantages in the gubernatorial race. Name recognition, having served now as a U.S. senator, as well as funding. Uh, he's very well funded and he's given his own money to his campaigns in the past. So far, Fort Wayne businessman Eric Doden is the only other candidate to officially jump in the race for governor. He's the former president of the Indiana Economic Development Corporation who announced his candidacy last year. They're saying to me that we need someone like you who will come in and disrupt the status quo and make sure that we have a fresh ideas and a fresh perspective. Martin Sweet, who teaches political science at Purdue University, says 2024 is shaping up to be a busy election cycle in the Hoosier State, with a likely crowded field of candidates in several races. Now Indiana's going to have an open seat for um, governor because of the term limit of Holcomb, and an open seat for senator. Additionally, you'll have House members running for uh, either the governorship or the Senate. That'll open up those races as well. Now, some elected officials have already expressed interest in running for Senate before Braun filed his paperwork today. Congresswoman Victoria Sparks told us she's thinking about it, and Congressman Jim Banks is also reportedly considering a Senate run. Kristen Escow, Fox 59 News. All right, Kristen, thank you so much. No Democratic candidates have formally declared their candidacy for this next election cycle, but several people have expressed interest, including former state superintendent of public instruction, Jennifer McCormick. She served as a Republican with Governor Holcomb during his first term, but left office in 2020. Now she's considering a run for governor as a Democrat. I think Indiana is ready. I think the Republican Party is unrecognizable to many. The Republican Party, when I got into office, really gave me no reason to stay in the party. And I've heard from a lot of people that share those feelings. And so I, I think people are ready. They're ready to move forward in a direction of new leadership. And I can bring that leadership to Indiana. McCormick says her top priority would be reforming education and expanding child care. You'll see more of that interview and we'll have more of the race for more uh, coverage of the race for governor and reaction from our panel of experts on what all of this means for 2024 coming up Sunday on In Focus. We'll also have more of my interview with White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain and the latest news from across the world of Indiana politics coming up Sunday morning at 930 right here on Fox 59.